I didn't yeah. you have Nazi to rally. You did. You I did an actual. It was a Nazi style rally. Me, a me, when you say it's a Nazi style the rally, of you're calling of Trump people Hitler. You are. Oh God. Were Let me repeat myself. I'm repeating myself. I'm mm. saying that I listened to a rally at which people said things that Nazis said. Mm. Do you deny? that Joseph Goebbels talked about enemy of the people, the enemy within... Destiny was a guest on Piers Morgan show, Piers Morgan Uncensored, to go up against a panel made up of Sarah Palin, Dave Smith, Mehdi Hassan, and Piers Morgan himself. In this section that we're going to focus on here, the topic was immigration. As you can imagine, things got pretty heated with this. We're going to take a look at clips from Piers Morgan show, Piers Morgan Uncensored. I will share my thoughts from time to time as well. Let's get into this together. The, the far right. Do you know what the Great Replacement yeah, many, Theory is? Many. What yeah, about, no, no, I'm no, trading no, facts. No, we what, about, what about all the, the Jews in the audience that I answer. saw? What about the, the um, Israel flags I saw? Israel flag means what? But th- what they may not be thinking he's the genuine. Do you, know, do you know some of the most far-right politicians in Europe support mm. Israel right now, mm. including card-carrying anti-Semites across Why Europe? would Jewish people go and watch the new Hitler and cheer so, him so up? Why did, why, did, why did a Jewish speaker... Why did a Jewish speaker make lots of uh, anti-immigrant racist remarks? I mean, this is a ridiculous. Muslims and Jews. Mus- a Muslim guy endorsed Trump on Friday. Does that mm. mean Trump is pro-Muslim? Come no, but, on, but, you're better than this. No, no. I tell you what, you're better than this because when, when you say it was a Nazi rally, I didn't yeah. say you it was a Nazi to be, rally. You did. You I didn't actually. Said, I said it was a Nazi style rally. Mean, when you say it's a Nazi the style the rally, you're calling Trump Hitler. You are. Oh God. Let me repeat myself. Style. I'm repeating myself. I'm mm. saying that I listened to a rally at which people said things that Nazis said. Mm. Do you deny that Joseph Goebbels talked about enemy of the people, that enemy within is a Hitler So line, anyone who uses the phrase enemy of the people is a Nazi? Not anyone. When Trump is consistently that uses is? Trump language, uh, Hitler language, when mm. he says poisoning the blood of the immigrants, mm. was that coincidence as well? Mm. Even after he was told, that's only from Mein Kampf, and he said it again. Mm. Was that a coincidence? They are, it was a Nazi was that a coincidence? rally to you. Was that a coincidence? Was it a Nazi rally? No. It was a Nazi style rally. People said absolutely neo-Nazi things. So these things. people are capable so, of perpetrating a So you just want to get a line, and I want you to do it fact. Is a great replacement mm. theory Nazi theory or not? No, 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 no. Sorry, no. facts matter. Well, you can't just say, I'm going to ask you about headline You're pictures. missing my overall no. point, which is this. It's not my fault that my you don't understand is that you, what happened you two yesterday. are very exercised about the... I'm exercised about the fact that you don't even facts, me, Piers. Many, the great many, replacement theory... Let me get a word theory. in. No, great replacement theory <laughs> I, is I, a no, neo-Nazi I, theory. I, Until you address that, I can't continue okay. this conversation. Right. Let me, you let me come to Sarah for... I want to move to a different thing, because you're not going to address the fact you think you don't know what the great replacement You think they're a bunch of Nazis, but don't really want to say they're a bunch of Nazis. I watch both your shows. I love watching you guys do this to each other, because watching you guys do it to other people is infuriating, and when you guys go to each other, it's very funny. And I do it, too. It is true, though. You don't deal in fact when you talk about Trump, though. I agree with him. No, I do. I'm very... What's the great replacement theory? Why did you tell your view? Why did you tell your view? Hang on. I know the great replacement theory. I want to suspend the Constitution. I don't agree with the great replacement theory. So why was it echoed by Tucker Carlson? and Don Jr. yesterday at the rally. I, I, I don't agree with you. What do you want me to say? So you're, 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 yeah, he said, he said, repla- yes, Don Jr. was speaking. He said, replace the immigrants coming to replace us. Mm. Trump was on a softball question by Sean Hannity. He said he'd be a dictator on day well, one. Let me ask Hannity you about, was teeing him up okay, for a softball right, question. But let me ask you about illegal immigration then, Destiny. So we've seen an unbelievably large number of illegal immigrants come in during the Biden-Harris administration. Do you think this is right for America? I don't think that Republicans think that illegal immigration is a problem right now. In fact, I'm 100% oh, confident That wasn't my that. question. The, the I issue, said you think it's right the issue, that between the issue, 7 the, and 10 million people the reality have is, come here, here in are illegally. Two, here are two facts that nobody is, will ever is talk it right? about. Here are two, I'll, I'll tell you. Here are two facts that we do not have a problem right now with illegal immigration in the United States. We have a problem with asylum seeking. Okay, That's the number one. That's a huge thing. But number two, if this was such a huge problem, why were Republicans so content to pull the plug on it when Donald Trump said, I need to leave the border open for me to run on this as an Election yeah. issue. You know what that tells me? That tells me it was never really a problem in the first so place. It was fault. just a talking point. It's Trump. So Destiny is absolutely correct, I believe, on this. If immigrants, you know, all they're they're coming to get us, there's an immigrant hiding under your bed right now, waiting to get you, you know, the second you step off your front porch, there's an immigrant waiting to get you. If this were really such a serious problem, the Republicans would have worked along with the Democrats to solve this. But instead, as Destiny is bringing up here, Donald Trump viewed that as being a win for Joe Biden. So he told all of the Republicans in Congress to vote against any immigration bill so that Joe Biden and the Democrats wouldn't get a win. So if they really cared about this issue, if it were really the most important issue to us, if it were if the immigrants were really an immigrant an immigrant, an imminent threat to the country, they would have tried to solve this and they would have put 
politics aside, but of course they're never going to do that. So Destiny's right about this, and Piers Morgan is going to act shocked and chagrined about this, and it's all just an act. Definitionally. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta hear this. Do you understand? Did do you agree that Donald Trump was the one that told them to pull the plug on the bill? He said so. Well, I don't think. Wait, wait, do you agree that Donald Trump told them do not vote yes on this bill? I can try and answer. Okay. I don't think he should have been active in getting that bill a pull because it, it would have helped. However, and I want to bring Sarah in on this, mm-hmm. you cannot dispute there is a massive crisis at the southern border, I'm nor can shocked, you dispute. I'm shocked that you say that Republicans... And before she gets into this, where did Piers Morgan dig Sarah Palin up from? When's the last... Maybe she's still hanging around in fringe right-wing circles, but when's the last time you saw anything from Sarah Palin? I thought we were done with this person long, long ago. Don't believe that the influx of illegal aliens cross our borders it is not a problem. Why it is a problem. The the it is a problem, and um, I think uh, it's not just Republicans who recognize that. Look at even the Democrat leaders of cities who are being overrun, their budgets being busted, trying to support the. And they all supported the bill. They supported in. the bill. Not Do you not think blaming Trump for everything is a bit lame? I'm talking about cities. Cities. They were ready to vote for the bill, and then Trump said, don't do it. Let me bring in Dave. Cruz, Lankford, all hang these people on. said Please we were going to vote for the bill, and then Trump pulled the plug on it. Where you've not hang said one critical thing about Donald Trump since it started. Actually, what I was going to say to you before I got shouted over yet again on my own show, what I was going to say to you was... I thought it was going to be Dave and Sarah versus me and Destiny, but apparently Dave... Hang Me and Destiny versus Sarah and Piers. When I... When I... You always like to do this, and it's not true. I've not heard you say one critical thing about Trump. When Trump was president... And Mehdi Hassan hits the, the the nail right on the head here. Piers Morgan does this over and over and over. If you watch his show regularly, and I'm doing these clips regularly, Piers Morgan is always defending Donald Trump. Now, he'll throw in a little thing like, well, I didn't agree with this. But he's always defending Donald Trump and then claiming that he's not a right winger. Piers Morgan, that is. He's always d- defending Donald Trump and always criticizing the Democrats, Kamala Harris, and Joe Biden. So Mehdi Hassan is spot on with this. President, I wrote 110 columns for the Daily Mail about Trump. When he left, I counted negative, positive. It was about a 55th. Great, but not right? today. So I have been very, very great, but not today. Very critical of Trump, not and today. I felt he's deserved it. Well, no, because I find that w- w- with you and with Jesse, with great respect to you guys, you you absolutely love sticking it to him. When I try and stick it back to your own no, problems with your own party, you don't want to hear it. Hey. Conservative- it's like. Piers Morgan has to feels that he has to be the defender of Donald Trump. He's saying you guys are sticking it to Trump, so I'm going to stick it back to you. When Donald Trump is always sticking it to somebody else, calling somebody names, attacking, you know, he, he Piers Morgan is acting as if Donald Trump is defenseless or something. When he has, he's always attacking people, and he has all of his minions out in conservative right wing media and all of the Republican Party fighting on his behalf for the God King at all times. So this is so disingenuous with Piers Morgan, but this is what he always does on his show. In terms of what Destiny is saying, again, if this were really such a problem, that the immigration that is, that the Republicans really cared so much about. Now, I don't doubt that the Republican base really views this as a real problem because they've been told for decades hey, immigrants are the enemy and they're coming to get you and all of that by Republicans. And Donald Trump has just taken this to the next level where everything is about immigrants and immigration. You know, in the two debates with Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, every you know, they could ask him about anything, any question, and he would always bring it back to immigration. So that's been his core topic of discussion, basically that and trans people. But, you know, the thing that I always think with this, which never gets brought up in any of these discussions, if the Republicans were actually so concerned about immigration and illegal immigration, one thing that they would do is go after employers. And you never hear any discussion of that. You're never going to hear Republican politicians and Republican pundits say, hey, you know, we've got to do something about the border, but we also have to do something about these people who are illegally hiring these workers. That never gets brought up because they don't really care about that. They want to demonize poor people from it coming from these countries, not wealthy business owners. So that's, I, I wish that would 
sometimes be brought up in on shows like Piers Morgan's show here. But what do you think about Destiny in this situation? Again, this is a this entire thing is over an hour long. I might do another clip or two from this, but you can watch the entire thing on Piers Morgan's show with this panel of Destiny, Dave Smith, Mehdi Hassan, and Sarah Palin. Again, where has she been? I'm not, not happy to see her back on the scene. But do you agree with what Mehdi Hassan and Destiny are saying here? And is this just another case of Piers Morgan just covering for Donald Trump like he always does? Let me know in the comments what you think about Piers Morgan Uncensored, Destiny, any of these other guests, or anything else that you'd like to comment on. Also, make sure to give me a like and subscribe. I'm over 35,000 subscribers now. I want to keep growing with this channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet and want to see more content like this, you can help me to grow the channel further. This is Chris on Culture. I will see you in the next video.